Hello friends, welcome to Internet Network. My name is Edgar C. Francis. In this video, we see what is BGP route dampening and how to configure this BGP route dampening. So first, we need to understand what is BGP route dampening. Well, basically, the BGP route dampening is designed to reduce the route processing load caused by the unstable route. For example, if this uh, loopback interface, which is 3.3.3.3, uh, uh, is flap or we can say it's uh, unreachable or uh, it uh, shut down, is shut down then uh, this router 2 which we configure the route dampening give the penalty of 1000 okay so means each time the ebgp uh, routes flaps it get 1000 penalty point and we cannot modify this configuration if the penalty exceeds the surplus limit the route damped and no longer use but if the route penalty is dropped below the threshold means if this uh, router will become the stable then the route is uh, is again in use and propagate so if you want to know more in detail so there is a link in the description box you can visit it out i have wrote everything about this topic okay and there is a configuration also okay now let's see the configuration in five easy step we configure the bgp route dampening and test out configurations okay by default i already configure this uh, ip addressing just to save your time the, we need to configure ibgp in ebgp configuration and bgp dumping on router 3 which in as65100 over here and uh, we manually we manually flaps the route which is this loopback one on the as65300 and we will make sure that uh, this route will be dumped and uh, give and have the penalty 1000 ok. So this is our topology over here ok, this, we are starting from configuring starting from router 1 ok. I already configured the IP addresses as you can see. You can see the manually up line protocol is up okay now we need to configure the bgp so router bgp and router one in, in as of 65100 so okay so router bgp uh, as 65100 okay and router one having one neighbor which is 192.168.1.2 so 192.168.1.2 and the remote AS is an IBGP so 65100 and have the three networks which is one loopback two fast Ethernet so network we have uh, one dot one dot one mask 255.255.255.0 and under, again we have the network the fast Ethernet 10.0.0.0 and uh, we have 192.168.1.net so network 192.168.1.0 and the mask is 255.255.255.0 and of course not to summary and no synchronization okay exit okay now router 2 Router BGP 65100 and we have neighbors. Okay, router 2 having three neighbors one IGP, two EBGP. Okay, one ninety two dot one sixty eight and one dot one, which is this neighbor router one. Okay, and the remote AS is uh, 65100. Okay. Another neighbor is um, uh, uh, router 4, okay, and uh, 192.168.4.1, and the remote AS is, remote AS is uh, 65400, 65400, okay, and we have one more EBGP neighbor, which is router 3. And is an AS of six five three hundred three dot one, and the remote AS is 
65300 okay now give the network commands so router 2 having three networks okay so first is 192.168.1.0 uh, mask 255.255.255.0 another one is uh, 4.0 and 3.0 so 4.0 and 3.0 now we need to configure the bgp log neighbor change command so bgp log neighbor change okay no auto summary and no synchronization okay exit okay let's go to the router 3 Now, router 3 having only one, one neighborship, which is uh, between router 2 and router 3. Okay. So, router BGP 65300 and we have the neighbor, which is 192.168.3.2, remote AS is uh, 65100. So, 65100. Okay. Now, the network. Okay, router 3 having two, uh, 3 network, 2, okay, 1 loopback, 1 fast Ethernet and 1 serial interface, okay. So, network is uh, 30.0.0.0 and network 3.0.0.0 uh, and mask is 255.0, okay. And, uh, is the 192.168.3.0 uh, which is this uh, serial interface network okay no auto summary and no synchronization okay now the last router which is router 4 so router bgp 65400 and uh, neighbor neighbor is uh, 192.168.4.2 so 192.168.4.2 and the remote AS is uh, 65100. So 65100. Okay. Having three routes. One is 192.168.4.0 um, mask 255.0. Okay. Another one is loopback interface, which is 4.4.4.0. Uh, and we have the 40 dot network also so network 40.0.0.0 as you can see the neighborship is up between router 2 and router 3 now the command is uh, no synchronization no auto summary okay okay now let's check the configuration show ip bgp you will see over here we have the one dot network which is this uh, router one we have three dot network which is this uh, router three we have four dot network which is locally okay 10 dot 30 dot 40 dot and the these routes 192.161.3 dot and 4 dot okay now what, let's check on the uh, on this router two also just to make sure okay okay the neighborship is up on both the sides let me verify show IP PGP you can see the routing table over here all the routes are there and our main focus on this router uh, on this route which is uh, 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3 okay okay let me see now let's try to ping from router 2 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3 okay now let me enable the command which is uh, debug debug uh, IP BGP dampening okay. okay you can see the dampening uh, the debugging command is on okay now let's go to the um, router BGP 65100 
okay, 65100 and uh, okay, now let us see uh, BGP dampening, okay, that is all, okay. Now exit, you can see over here the timing created dampening structure with a half time is 15 reuse surprise okay now let's uh, check the parameters of this uh, dampening do show ip bgp uh, dampening parameter you will see over here this is the default okay the half time is 15 minutes and uh, you can see the, all the information let me change the um, the interval okay so we get the result faster okay the router bgp 65100 and uh, we are changing the interval so neighbor 192.168 um, which is a 3.1 3.1 advertisement interval 1 you will see over here the seconds okay so you can choose 0 to 60 seconds and uh, 600 seconds I am using 1 okay exit now let us uh, flap this route we are going to manually shut down this loopback interface and make this up with the with the no shutdown command and see what is the result how much penalty this routes gets okay okay this is router 3 okay and we are also let's open this also over here okay we are we are on uh, router 3 okay so interface loop back one and we are going to shut down this interface okay you can see this interface is down and cha charge the penalty of 1000 which is the by default okay and we cannot change this and you can see over here if again we no shutdown command no shutdown okay let the interface up okay again we are giving the command shutdown we are manually flapping this route which is uh, 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3 okay now give the command no shutdown let the interface up okay you can see the penalty decrease okay decay okay now again we are going to give the sh uh, shutdown command sorry shutdown okay and again no shutdown Okay, now we see. Okay, now we see the exit, and we see what happened. The flap statics. Okay, show IP BGP dampening and the flap static. Okay, you can see the network which is uh, three dot three dot three dot three from one ninety two one sixty eight. Uh, 3.1 you can see the network and is from 192 168 3.1 flap one time duration and the path is 65300 which is this okay now let's see the what is in the routing table so this is the most important show ip bgp okay can see the penalty charge okay again let's see you will see over here the h sign okay the h sign just before the network 3 dot 3 dot 3 dot uh, 0 h sign indicates it's a history okay if uh, okay a penalty is applied on the individual path in the bgp table not on the ip prefix okay so you can see the 
you can see the unreachable route in the routing table marked with the H over here you can see. Okay, let me ping from this router to 3.3.3.3. .3 you can see this route is not uh, reachable because uh, because of this penalty. Okay, let me see again how much penalty it's get. Show IP, uh, BGP, and uh, dampening flap statics. You can see two two flaps. Okay, and uh, show IP. Uh, BGP dampening uh, parameters. Okay, you can see over here. Okay, th so this is how you can configure the BGP route dampening. It's a very important and uh, very useful feature. If the routes flaps uh, again and again, if it goes shut down and then come back, and line protocol is down or it's uh, unreachable for any reason. So we can configure this uh, BGP route dampening and it will give the penalty. If the route uh, is stable again, then it will use uh, in the routing table again. Okay, so this is how you can configure. I hope you like this video. If you like, please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.